I am Anil Kumar and now we will investigate some functions and their derivatives. The question here is find domain of both function and its derivative. Function is f of x equals to 1 over x square minus 1. Here you clearly know that the denominator will be 0 for x equals to plus and minus 1, right? Therefore, so the domain is x belongs to real numbers where x is not equals to plus and minus 1. So we can write derivative, uh, I mean domain for this function as x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to plus minus 1. Now as far as the derivative is concerned, since this point plus minus 1 is not in the domain of the function, it cannot be in the domain of the derivative also, right? So, so that is one thing which you straight away get from this particular equation. But sometimes it is possible to get some more points where derivative may not be possible. Let us investigate. So let's find derivative of this function using our basic definition. We also call it as first principle. So f dash x is equals to limit. h approaches 0. So we have taken two points very close to one another. We are trying to find the rate of change of the slope between these points. That is derivative. So that is f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now when I say x plus h, I have to replace this with x plus h, right? So we get here limit h approaches 0. f of x plus h for this particular function will be 1 over x plus h whole square minus 1. And f of x for this function is 1 over x square minus 1. And everything divided by h. So divided by h, I can also write like this, 1 over h. Is that okay? Everything divided by h. That means multiplied by 1 over h. Okay. So let's continue this. We just limit h approaches 0, cross multiply. So we get x square minus 1 on this side, minus Let's put this in brackets again, which is x plus h whole square minus 1. So let me put this in, in brackets, correct? Now I'm dividing by h, so, so let me write here also. It doesn't matter. H, one of the same thing. Times this times this. So, okay. So we have to multiply these two also. Let me write, uh, okay, one of them on the left side x square minus 1 smaller space so I'm writing it here but it could be anyway right and x plus h whole square minus 1 okay so two brackets kind of complicated but I hope you got it so we cross multiplied it wrote it in the numerator then we multiplied these two things along with h so kind of squeeze it h in between but the order right you could maintain any order Multiplication is uh, commutative, you can say associative, and three are involved, okay. So, let's simplify the numerator. In the numerator, we have x square minus 1, let me write that down, x square minus 1, minus, within all this, what do I have? So, let me expand this, which is x square plus 2xh plus h square, and then we have minus 1, and in the denominator, let me rearrange h times x square minus 1 times this is complicated we'll not expand denominator okay we'll just keep it as such perfect now at this stage uh, let us simplify the numerator x square minus x square is 0 so I'm just cancelling it out minus 1 minus 1 is 0 I'm cancelling that out we are left with minus of 2xh, so let's say minus of 2xh, and then minus of h square, minus of h square, divided by all this, which is h times x square minus 1, uh, and then x plus h whole square minus 1. Correct. Let's move on to the right side of this sheet and further simplify the expression. So we have f dash x as equals to limit h approaches 0 so here we can take h common let me take minus h common so we get 2x plus h and denominator we have all this which is h times x square minus 1 times let me put a square bracket also 
x plus h whole square minus 1. Okay, good. As you can see, as normally is done, h will cancel. So you can now substitute h equals to 0. When you substitute 0, you get minus 2x in the numerator divided by we have x square minus 1 here. And within this bracket, we have x square minus 1. Perfect. So what we get here is minus 2x divided by x square minus 1 whole square. So that is what we get. So that is the derivative of the given function, right? Now what is the domain of this function? Domain of this function is it could have any values except for x equals to plus minus 1. So here we see x is not equal to plus minus 1 since that is going to uh, make the denominator 0. So in other words, we say that the function is not differentiable. We we'll say since f dash x is not defined at x equals plus minus, we say the function is not differentiable at x equals to plus minus 1 right so that is another way of putting it up since we get infinity if I put x equals to plus minus 1 in this particular expression so that is how you could sometimes algebraically figure out at which point a function is not differentiable right so of course the domain of this function is similar to what you have of the I mean domain of the derivative is same as the domain of the function in this particular case correct so you could write domain here is domain of um, f dash x is equals to x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to plus minus 1 right so that is how you could do this question in general derivative of this particular function is minus 2x divided by x square minus 1 whole square now as uh, an exercise what you can do is the question for you is determine f dash 0, f dash 2, and f dash minus 2. That is first question for you. And the second question for you is, can you write down the range for your derivative? Range for your derivative, right? So question number 2 is range for f dash x, correct? Range for f dash x. So you can see from here, denominator is always positive, numerator is, could be a positive or negative depending on the x value, correct? So you can write, what is the range of this particular derivative, correct? That should help you to understand uh, derivatives of such functions better. Thank you and all the best.